again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 28th of January, 2019. One of my friends sent me a rather interesting link. Uh, I'm going to attach the link and I want you to open it. And uh, I want you to take a look at that photograph. It looks like the Twin Towers. And you'll notice something that I think appears rather odd. You'll see a big explosion coming out of the left side of the tower. And you'll see another explosion coming out the right side of the tower. Now, that is pretty much impossible because if this were in fact an airplane, all that fuel would have been blown up in that first explosion. And they appear to be at different levels. The explosion on the right seems to be at a lower level than the explosion on the left. But that isn't the only thing that you need to take a look at. I'm going to give you the highlights of this article, but when you scroll down, there's a link. And when you try to open that link, you'll see that it was removed by YouTube. So you can't see what's in that link. This is part of the process of making certain that people don't wake up. The article is most interesting. Former CIA agent John Lear, and I believe that's who you're going to see on the left side of the photograph, has not only given a sworn statement as an expert witness, but he has also produced conclusive evidence that disproves the official narrative that the towers were destroyed by airplanes, that were hijacked and flown by terrorists. Speaking under oath, Agent Lear confirms that World Trade Center buildings in New York were demolished using pre-planted explosives in a carefully orchestrated and well-engineered plot by the United States government and CIA. Adding, no Boeing 767 Airlines hit the towers, it's fraudulently alleged by the government, media, NIST, and its contractors. His statements have finally confirmed the long-standing theory that the Twin Towers were struck by military planes that had been made to resemble passenger jets, and a controlled demolition reduced the building to rubble afterwards. The third plane failed to strike World Trade Center 7, as initially intended due to an unknown complication. But all three towers were still destroyed as planned. These revelations by Lear tying completely with statements by last month by dying CIA agent Malcolm Howard, who made a deathbed confession that he was part of a highly classified operation that was tasked with blowing up the World Trade Center Building 7. Read more. Dying CIA agent makes deathbed confession. We blew up World Trade Center 7 on 9-11 speaking from a hospital bed. The New Jersey native says he was part of a cell of four CIA operatives who worked on a project dubbed New Century. You know, I told you I wondered what name they gave it. I now know. The operation was called New Century. Between May of 1997 and September 2001, that a task with ensuring the successful demolition of World Trade Center 7. At a time, he says, the CIA was still taking orders from the top. Who was president in 2001? Huh? Wouldn't he have been at the top? Right, Georgie? Even Donald Trump, who was one of the most experienced property developers in New York City, stated that the building could not have been brought down by explosives, as planes would never be able to penetrate the steel beams. Press that John Lear was a CIA agent and a commercial airline pilot speaking about the impossibility of passenger jets being flown into the tower. CIA agent John Lear stated in a sworn affidavit, Such crashes did not occur because they are physically impossible as depicted for the following reasons. In the case of UAL-175 going to the South Tower, a real Boeing 767 would have begun telescoping when the nose hit the 14-inch steel columns which are 39 inches on center. I did videos on that exact same thing. I showed you how they were 39 inches on center. It's like hitting a solid concrete wall. A real Boeing 767 
again, would have been telescoping. The vertical and horizontal tail would have instantaneously separated from the aircraft, hit the steel box columns, and fallen to the ground. The engines, when impacting the steel columns, would have maintained their general shape and either fallen to the ground or been recovered in the debris of the collapsed building. Speaking about the impossibility of passenger jets being flown into the tower, Sage and John Lear stated in the sworn affidavit, such crashes did not occur because they're physically impossible, again as depicted. Now he also mentioned this, which is what I've stated countless times as well. The engines, when impacting the steel column, would have maintained their general shape. No Boeing 767 could attain a speed of 540 miles an hour at 1,000 feet above sea level. Parasite drag doubles with velocity and parasite power cubes with velocity. The fan portion of the engine is not designed to accept the volume of dense air at that altitude and speed. The pieces of alleged external fuselage containing three to four windows cutouts is inconsistent with an airplane that hit 14 inch steel columns. Placed at over 500 miles an hour, it would have crumpled. No significant parts of the Boeing 767 or engine could have penetrated the 14-inch steel columns and 37 feet beyond the massive core of the tower without part of it falling to the ground. The debris of the collapse would have contained massive sections of the Boeing 767, including three engine cores weighing approximately 9,000 pounds apiece, which could not have been hidden. Yet, there is no evidence of any of these massive structure components from either 767s at the World Trade Center. Folks, you want to read the rest of the article? It's most interesting and most revealing. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> That's what this is. And like I said, they've already started deleting. They don't want people to learn the truth. Because too many high-level people are complicit. You think not. Think whatever you like. I do. Thanks for listening. You want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. Let them know the truth. Can't do this alone, folks. I need you. But you all also need me.